Hey you, welcome back to Quantum Code, I'm Martin. This is the 10th tutorial of the series dedicated to create an original 2D shooter game in Godot Engine. By the way, a link to the full playlist is in the description, so check it out. In this tutorial, we'll finish the scoring system, we'll create a save file and store the player data in it, and you'll learn to secure this file against hackers. Without further ado, let's go straight into it. Back in Godot, the first thing to do is to check your assets version. You want to have version 4 or higher. Then we can go ahead and update or finish our scoring system. So in the global script, we had set up for the score system, but we are not um, adding uh, score uh, values when we kill enemy. So we need to go in the enemy script and we have a function kill enemy with a boolean variable scoring which indicates if we want to update the score or not. So we can simply check if scoring, which means if scoring equal true. And if it's the case, then we will call global dot update score and we will add one. Now we need to show the current score each time we have a dead enemy. So let's go in the dead enemy script. And instead of having a string of one, we will have a string of global that score. Cool. Now if we test our scene, The first enemy we kill shows a 1, and then a 2, 3, 4, and so on. Now let's open up our menu scene, and we will add some text to show the score and the high score. So let's add a child node, it will be a label node. Um, for the visibility, we want to remove the, this mask so it will not be affected by our uh, sprite mask. Let's change the font. So we go in custom fonts, create a new dynamic font. Um, we can change the font here. So let's go in the assets folder, uh, in the font folder, and take the score.ttf and drag and drop it to the font data. Now let's write score and we can increase the size even more like 100, 125 and we can place it right here. Let's call this node score and let's duplicate it and rename this one high score or best simply and we can change the text to best let's move it you can use the shift key to move it horizontally or vertically let's place it right here now we will create a system to save the best score. So when you close the game and you open it later, you still have your best score recorded. So let's go in our global script. Let's first create a variable for the best score. And we can set it to zero. Then let's create a function called save score. We'll first uh, create a file, so we'll call var save file equal uh, file that new. And now we can open this file, so save file that open. And here we need to pass the global path to our variable to our um, um, file. 
So we can use user like that and call it save uh, game dot save. So this is a special folder uh, created by Godot to save our files in the computer. Then we need to open it with file.write as we are saving data. We can test if score uh, is greater than best score. And then we can call best score equal score. So in the case the player did a higher score than his last best score, then we need to update the best score. And then let's create a variable for the data that we will we'll save in the file. So we can call it data. It will be a dictionary. Um, the first variable we can call it score and the value will be score. And the next one is best score. And the value is best score. Now we can call save file. So this is our file and we call the function store variable. And the variable is data. And last but not least, we need to close our file. So let's call save file dot close. So everything is okay for our save score function, but now we need a load score function. Let's add it. So same, we create the variable save file. Then we need to check if this file exists. So if not save file, that file exists. And we need to uh, path our path as parameter. And if it's if our file does not exist, then we will simply return as it means uh, we don't have any score or best score. This is the first time the player is playing the game. So we can ju just leave uh, those variables to zero. Now, if we have a file, we need to read it. So let's do a save file that open. So it will be same line here. I will just copy paste it. And we just need to change the file that write to file that read. Now we can create a variable for the data we will read. So data equal save file that get variable. And now we can just do score equal our data and we will take the score out of the dictionary and same for the best score we'll do base score equal data and we will take the best score variable and last we need to close the file so save file that close Okay, we are done with the global script. Now we need to update the score in the menu script. So under the ready function, we need to call global that load score. So it will read the file and update the score in the global script. And now we can take our label nodes we just created before. So best, uh, I will start with score, score, 
that text equal uh, we'll um, write score and let's add two points and we will add a the current score in the global uh, variable so global that score we need to do the same for the best so best that text equal same we do a best two points and we add the string of global that best that best score okay uh, so we are loading the score and showing it on the menu scene but we are never saving our score and we need to do this in the global script because we have the update life uh, function in the case the player is dead we return to menu but first we want to save the score so now we are okay we are saving the score um, the last thing to do is to set our score back to zero when we start again we can do this in the menu script under the um, play button pressed we are uh, changing the scene to world so we are starting a game we can just call global that score equals zero okay to test this we can just change the um, main scene to our menu scene i just forgot a s right here and now if we launch the game we are in the menu our score is zero and the best is zero and if we hit play let's have a score of two for example three and now i'll try to die so as you can see we have the score here three and the best had been updated and uh, now if i quit the game and i launch again the score is still set to three and the best also so i can play again and this time let's have a lower score like one for example now my score is one and the best is three so this is working perfectly we are saving our data to a file and we can read it so this is really good but um, if you don't want people to be able to cheat in your game for example showing a best score of uh, 1 million or something like that um, you need to encrypt your files when you save and load them so let's start with the save score we will not call save file that open but save file that open encrypted with pass and now we need to pass another parameter which will be a password we you need to keep secret so you can write everything you like and let's copy it now same stuff in the load score we are not calling open but open encrypted Now, if you launch the game, you have an issue because it is not really the same file. So you have a problem. You need to delete this file uh, to go faster. You can just rename all your files to save game two. And if you play again, as you can see, our score is zero and best is zero because it is a different file. But if we play. Now our score is three and the best also. So it's still working. Okay, it's all for this video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Uh, check out our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell so you get notified when the next video is out. Also, you can leave us any feedback or any question in the comment section. We will answer quickly. See you.